like a half a year ago, I made a video about bullet journaling. The creator of the bullet journal method messaged me telling me that he liked it. I then decided to find out if I screwed it up. Even though you may not do it the way that I teach it, you did <laughs> it the way that worked, and that's really the most important part. But in my eyes, I screwed it up. But since talking to him, I have learned a new way to do it that I like a whole lot better. I'm going to explain to you what the bullet journal was originally intended to be, how it can help you. Also, I'm gonna talk to China because she has her own method, but first, this this portion of the video is sponsored by True Classic. True Classic sells t-shirts that even I look good in. I can verify with a third party. Hey, how do I look in this True Classic t-shirt? Good! See, normally when I'm wearing a different shirt, she says this. Hey, how do I look in this non-True Classic shirt? Divorce time. I've had to win her back and convince her to marry me again four times. I don't ask her that anymore unless I'm wearing a True Classic t-shirt. True Classic has taken classic cuts and reinvented them into premium everyday staples that fit the modern man. I'm a modern man. Look, I got a laptop and a lamp and a phone even. They even look good on dad bods like mine. I should probably cut back on the beer. I like a minimal shirt and I can put these on anytime Anywhere, maybe not anywhere. I should probably put them on before I leave the house. Some places you can't get service if you're not wearing a shirt, it's stupid. They hug the arms, accentuate the shoulders, and it's a fair price. You don't have to pay an arm and a shoulder to make your arms and shoulders stand out. <laughs> Here, let me model them for you. The military green for when I'm out on patrol. Sexy patrol. The black for when I know I'm gonna eat black beans and I don't want anyone to see how slathered I'll be in black beans because I'm a real messy eater. And the navy blue. Ooh, sail the seven seas, more like unveil the heavenly tea, am I right? <laughs> Get it? Cause navy. They're a branch of the military, which I guess also applies to military green. Well, we're getting off topic. I really like these shirts. They wash well, they keep their shape, they're lightweight. Look, I can lift two with one hand and I'm very weak. I only look strong because the shirt accentuates my arms. And they are butter soft. I accidentally put them on my toast one morning because I thought they were actual butter. I figured it out when I bit into them though, but much later than you would expect. I'm a little embarrassed by it. Moving on. For a limited time only, get up to 50% off select packs for your select packs. <laughs> That portion of the video was sponsored by True Classic. Now back to my regular content. Regular content clone, take it away. Okay, so to make sure we're all on the same page, cause journaling, <laughs> barely a joke. Let's answer the question, what is bullet journaling? You may have seen videos or Instagrams of very pretty, elaborate, illustrious journals, which probably work great for the people that make them, but for an artistically inept dingus like myself, it's a real turnoff. However, what you see online can be very misleading. A lot of times it's like an artistic endeavor. They're very elaborate interpretations. It doesn't need to be pretty, right? Yeah. It just needs to be. Phew, cause mine is definitely not pretty. Look at this page, literal steaming pile of garbage. So a pretty, pretty journal is not the definition of a bullet journal. So what is it? Well, yes, your journal can be whatever you want it to be or whatever. But in this video that Ryder made on his channel, Bullet Journal, he describes what a bullet journal is. It's called How to Bullet Journal. How many times can I say bullet journal? It tells you everything you need to know in a very nice, succinct way. But I'll try to be even succincter. First, you have an index. Then you have a year page where you write down each month and then all of the events and tasks. And then you have a month page where you write down all the events and tasks in the current month. And then the heart of the bullet journal, the daily log, which is where you keep track of your day and where originally I think I got everything wrong because I treated it as basically, well, basically it's a glorified to-do list. But the way Ryder describes it, it's not that at all, or at least mostly not that. Part of bullet journaling that doesn't often get mentioned is that it's not just about what we're working on, but why. It really starts with simply just writing down what's happening in your head. That's mm -hmm. it. And we divide those things into the things you have to do, the things you don't want to forget, and the things you experience. Tasks, mm -hmm. events, and notes. They all have a separate bullet, one sentence. That's yeah. it. Three things go in the daily log. Tasks, I gotta finish this video about bullet journaling. Events, such as I gotta go to the beard convention. And notes, someone at the beard convention had a longer beard than me, so I'm sad. So when I did this before, at the beginning of each week, I wrote down every day of the week, and then I wrote down all my uh, events and tasks in that week, uh, a to-do list. But Ryder says, yes, you do write down tasks and events. But not ahead of time, doing it in real time. Oh, epiphany. Mm. Sweet, sweet epiphany. Mm, delicious. In bullet journal, you usually don't plan ahead. If you need to plan ahead, you can create a collection for that anywhere inside your notebook. Because we have an index, we can always find what we're looking for at any time. But generally speaking, bullet journaling happens in real time. So the daily log is literally a log of events as they happen to you all day long. Ryder has his journal with him all day, just capturing whatever. Like I never think about where I put anything. It goes into the bullet journal first, and then I'll find a home for it later if I need to. Which is really helpful because then I never forget where I put something. Yeah, this did not occur to me. Maybe you realized it when you tried bullet journaling, but I 
I'm a dingus. I have barely any notes in my journal. At its core, it's not really a to-do list. It's it's a journal, but it's just quicker and more efficient. The whole bullet journal method was designed to help me cope with my ADD for very quick thinking, with people with very little patience. <laughs> and uh, when I tried to have a journaling practice in the past, it started to feel like a chore and that's why I fell away. What if rather than spelling everything out, I just write down the way I feel quickly, like one sentence at a time, very short and tactical. That's a commitment I can make. But why though? What's the value of logging events as they occur besides not forgetting them? Well, there's another important part of the process. There's logging tasks, events, and notes and then reflecting on it every day. A really important part of this is reflection. So you can start to correlate what you did with how you felt on an ongoing basis. And you start to connect dots in a way that hadn't been available to me before. Does this need to be done? Why am I actually doing this thing? And oftentimes you become aware that we're working on a lot of things that we don't need to be doing. Before this whole bullet journal thing, I did try regular journaling, made a video about it, just writing paragraphs and paragraphs of my thoughts about the day. Me, 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 myself, myself, yours truly. And I found that that helped me declutter my brain and may have helped me sleep and it was pretty good. Didn't keep up with it though, probably because it seemed like such a bulky thing to do. I have to write all this stuff all the time. And I definitely didn't go back and reflect on it every day. That's so much reading, and I am not my favorite author. I liked my early stuff, but now I'm just a big sellout. But for the past several weeks now, I have been logging stuff the way Ryder does, with short, bulleted statements. And I have found that it's actually fun and a lot easier to go back and reflect on it because it's just less stuff to read. I'm a better writer when I'm forced to put it in a bulleted list. And I'm still doing it. I haven't, I haven't quit skis yet. Hopefully that continues. Another piece of advice is if you find yourself not doing it, reduce the amount of time that you're taking for it. So basically every morning I do write down the tasks I have for that day, but then throughout the day I just write down thoughts as they occur. Let's see if we got any examples that aren't that embarrassing. The Tick is great. The Amazon Prime show, there's two seasons, it was canceled way too early. Standing Desk 28-2 method is great. Started a routine where I sit for 20 minutes and then I stand with my standing desk thing for eight minutes, then I walk around for two minutes and then I sit for 20 minutes and so on. Had some pretty consistent back pain that has completely gone away because of it, so I might make a video about that later, but I'll remember it because I wrote it down in my bullet journal. Knee hurt today. Yikes. Good article about Clarice's journey in Silence of the Lambs. I'm reading about screenwriting. Talks about how she goes from disunity to deconstruction to reconstruction to unity. Screenwriting stuff that I've been digging into. Fancy cheeses matter. I had some regular cheddar cheese with crackers and it just wasn't as good as fancy cheese. I thought it wouldn't matter, but it does. I'm so snooty now with cheese. So to me, this is just constant, ever-flowing, bite-sized journal entries, but sometimes helpful reminders for tasks and such. And then every morning I'll take a look at it and think about what I wrote. Maybe take some things and put them in a collection somewhere. It's just a nice process. I don't even think about goals really anymore like I did when I was doing this before. In a day and age where we're so goal-oriented, like nothing matters except accomplishing the goal. But at the end of the day, the goal is completely out of our control. And once we get there, then what, right? That's short-lived experience, right? It's like, yeah, you got the abs or you did the thing for 60 days, then what? Yeah. But if you focus on why you're doing it, then the goal is just kind of an arbitrary milestone that helps give you direction. And one other thing that I'm doing differently than last time, how did you feel about me doing it digitally as opposed to an actual physical book? Uh, it's a very controversial topic. And, 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 <laughs> I'm living in a digital world and I am a digital girl. For most of my career, I was a digital product designer. I literally designed dozens and dozens and dozens of apps. The real reason why I like using a notebook is because it forces me to go offline. When I start journaling digitally, which I try, I try all these things. Next thing I know, I'm checking Twitter or I'm buying socks. Convenience is a real problem for me. So I do recommend trying it in a notebook. Usually people are like, oh, but it takes longer and I can't read my handwriting. Also, I have terrible handwriting. Observe, I'll write my name. There. See? The taking longer I think is important. I think it's important to take the time to think about your life. But one of the main reasons I wanted to do it digitally, which I said in the previous video, with this, I have the glorious undo button. I make mistakes all the time and I scribble it out and I didn't want to, and the the light, the sun is going behind the clouds. That's stupid. Maybe I should make a note that I should stop just using daylight for these videos. Nope, I'm gonna keep using daylight for these videos because I just like it. I think it looks better. And I just didn't want to fill my journal with clutter and crap. I wanted it organized. I definitely have perfectionist tendencies, not in a good way. And one thing about bullet journaling that's helpful is like you can't copy and paste. You have to make the mistake and then you have to make the choice that it doesn't matter and then do it again. 
-hmm. and do it again. But what's cool about that is it leaves a visual trail of your thinking as well. So cross this out and you can Mm -hmm. actually track it back really quickly. You're like, you're forced to be more honest with yourself. Yeah. And that's, that's really the most important part is Mm -hmm. making journaling really honest. You're not doing it from a point of judgment, but point of curiosity in order to learn you have to be honest about what's happening Mm -hmm. right if you're judging yourself then that doesn't help anybody Mm -hmm. like oh i didn't do it today i'm terrible i'm lazy i'm it's like that that doesn't help and when you approach something with curiosity instead of judgment at least for me then all of a sudden you're like oh okay i can find a solution for that problem so i like this method and i think i'm going to keep it up i think it's just a great reflection of how life actually happens you have tasks you have plans for the day but things come up Thoughts come up, and it all happens at the same time, or in a very messy order. And each thing that happens affects the other things in ways you might not even notice. So just capture it and sort it all out later. That's, I think, the entire point. That said, of course, everyone can do this their own way. China is tracking her tasks using a journal, and I talked to her about it. I talked to my wife, you guys. It was pretty great. Word on the street is your bullet journaling. Who said that? I was walking down the street, and I saw a police officer. And? And he said, put pants on, sir. Also, I hear your wife is bullet journaling. And, um... So, are you bullet journaling? I am. In the past, I've tried to just do traditional journaling. First of all, I never really know what to write. Mm -hmm. But I always feel like I need to be writing, like, sentences or paragraphs. But with bullet journaling, I've just been keeping track of the things that are important to me and making lists of the things that are relevant to me. Mm -hmm. I drew a little bookshelf. Yeah, your bullet journal looks a lot nicer than mine. It's a nice plant. What kind of plant is that? It's a drawing. Oh, my. I thought that was real. Yeah, cool. That's how good it was. Cool. Wow. Yeah. That's been helpful to look back and be reminded. Like sometimes I will forget a book instantly. And also it's been like motivating to get to add another book. Better dental hygiene. Whereas I used to only brush my teeth once a day and Mm -hmm. I like very, very seldom floss. Now it feels weird if I don't brush my teeth in the morning and if I don't floss. I'm keeping track of new podcasts that I've listened to this year. All the tasks in the upstairs part of the house and tasks in the downstairs. Goals. The holiday season. Gift ideas for people. I haven't written any of yours down because I knew I was gonna have to show you this page. Etc. is really hard to buy for. I know. They're so non-specific. I know, it's really frustrating. But I'm starting a year calendar. We're gonna do uh, no alcohol for a year starting in November. That sense of visual progress I think will be really yeah. helpful. So you're, you're doing it. trackers and lists. Yeah, I think that's the most helpful thing for me. I struggle with motivation. Is it helping? Is it working? Yeah, I think, yeah, mm-hmm. I think it is. Brady, you keep a bullet journal. Brady? Birdie. Birdie, do you keep a bullet journal? Tell us about your bullet journal. Work, 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 work. Oh, really boring. Yeah. Bye. Her bullet journal is very rough. <laughs> it's a high energy day today. I tried to back off on my allergy medications. It's ruined my life. Mark it down in your journal. And just a big page that says, hey, keep taking your allergy medication like you're supposed to. It happens to me every couple of months, I think. And then... My body just laughs and laughs and laughs. Your body laughs? Yes. That's weird. That's disturbing. (laughs) So uh, often when you're laughing at my jokes, it's not you laughing at my jokes. It's your body. My body thinks you're very funny. Thank you. You're welcome. (laughs) That's it. Thank you to Ryder for talking to me about this. I look forward to continuing doing this, or maybe I will quit eventually, like I sometimes do, but I can pick it right back up again and it doesn't matter because it's just a constant flow of stuff. I feel literally zero pressure doing this, and that's the best part. So, there's the previous bullet journal video. Even though I don't think I was doing things correctly, there's still useful information in there. YouTube thinks you'll like that video. You can support me on Patreon, where I do a monthly live stream. Subscribe! Thanks for watching.